Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody had a good night. For those who are not feeling good, I just pray that God heal you and give you a speedy recovery in the name of Jesus. Keep praying. Those who are not doing well, just keep praying, taking care of yourself, follow doctor's order, and get a lot of rest. And with that being said, I thank my A1s from day one who've been supporting me. I thank y'all and I love y'all. And I got to thank the new subscribers. Thank you guys. And I thank you in advance for those who want to follow after. But with that being said, y'all, I think it was two weeks ago, my son got his report card. Those who follow me know that he just started high school. He's in the ninth grade. So I'm just going to tell y'all his grades, okay? I'm going to tell y'all his grades, and he doing good. I probably He always was a good student. It's everywhere from uh, preschool to early um, childhood development when he was in those little um, schools, when he was two, three, always followed directions. So he always was a good kid, never had bad grades. But I got a shout <clears throat> I got a shout out to my son. You know, I got to shout him out. So this for you, Quincy. I'm shouting you out, baby. Okay, for 3D Studio Art, he got a B. Weight Training 2, he got an A. English 1, he got an A. Digital Information Technician, he got an A. Environmental Science, he got an A. Wait a minute now. Let me take that back. I'm sorry. Digital Digital information tech he got a a he got a policy lines in environmental science he got a c and nutrition and wellness he got an a and algebra one a he got an a so he doing good so right now i asked him how he doing and he was like he got all a's i said right dom i just said keep it up just keep it up keep doing your homework keep following direction keep listening to teachers keep respecting the teachers and just be that all around student so he doing good so y'all keep my son in prayer because you know we he got three more years and a half to go in high school and y'all know how students can influence kids so y'all please i'm asking y'all please keep quincy in y'all prayer he's not a bad student at all y'all who follow me y'all seen him y'all know him he's a good hearted student a pink um, child and a student and i wanted to stay that way because kids will influence um some other children so i'm just praying that y'all continue to pray for my son quincy okay now with that being said everybody I just want y'all to get, um, you all who follow me know a little bit about me. So I think I did a whole script about me. Somebody, somebody in my um, comments was like, don't do that because it was something. Just don't give all that information out about me. But it just was about me. So I really don't know why they said don't do that. It was like everything just about me, my personal life. But somebody said don't do that on the internet. So, okay. But, you know, when it comes to me, you guys, and my family, we are lovable, lovable people. Anybody, I'm, I don't care who you are, anybody who come around us, you're not going to be feeling like um, judge. You're going to just come into a welcoming family. You're not going to be, nobody's not going to be looking at you as though you are outcast. You're going to just feel good in our environment. We are welcoming. You, you're going to feel that um, welcoming spirit, that love spirit. Uh, we want to be a family that you will want to be around. You know, everybody have different personalities when it comes about things that they do, you know. But everybody in my family is lovable. I don't care if you could. I have, my mom have four girls. All of us grew up in the same household. I got Patricia. I got, we call her Sean. I got Sharon. We call her Sherry. I got Carolyn. We call her Kel. And Kathy, we just, I'm just me. I never had a um, nickname. But anyway, um, my mom, her name is Dorothy, but we call her Dot, you know. So my family is just so lovable. It's just like, I'm just telling you, it's like fun. I mean, when people come over my house, uh, when our friends come over my house, they be like, could you ask your uh, mama, could we stay, uh, could y'all, could we stay the night again? It's just, they don't want to leave. It's all full of laughter. You know, that's who I am. That's how I am. You know, we don't have no, no, no ill will towards nobody. You know, we just a love, love of a parent, a, a family. So, you know, that's, um, 
something that I want to say about my family, in case somebody don't know, you know, we um, are givers. You know, I have a lot of clothes that I don't need. I don't trash them. I either give them to my mom, she give them to some people who need them, or I give it to a homeless char shelter or a, a, a woman in crisis, um, you know, facility. And, um... I recently, two months ago, started giving to the homeless. You know, like I said, me and my husband separated, but he give to a coalition, the food coalition, and he cook all this delicious food, and he um, pass out trays to homeless people. I didn't want to do all that cooking, you know, because he don't make the sandwiches. He cooks. When I tell you cook, he cook Sunday dinners. He give those kind of meals that he'll be up at night and put them in those um, folding trays with those sections in it that got lids, he give, give. And I know some people do sandwich and God bless everybody for just being a giver and doing what you want. So he did that and I decided to do a hygiene packet. You know, I do a hygiene packet. They in my car now, you know, because if I see a homeless person, Quincy see somebody homeless and he'll just hand it out to the car and it's got soap in it, it got a rag, it got toothpaste, it got a toothbrush. It have deodorant, it have shampoo, it have a bar of soap, it have a comb, um, just hygiene from head to toe, something to get them clean. So we got, I got the um, washcloth in a plastic bag and I got the bar of soap in a plastic bag. So that way when they open and use it, they put the soap back in the plastic bag and they put the rag in the um, bag so it won't wet up that bag that I gave them inside. So that's what I do. You know, everybody different, but you know, my heart is good, you know. I don't judge people in a way that some people say that it's judging how I talk about something that's happening on um, social media, and I'm, I, I gotta, I, I want to check that too. As I see a lot of people coming from a good place when they say, "Well, you just like her." I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm going to tell you like this, I'm going to stick to what I believe and some other people who said it in a negative way because some people came from a good place and some people came from a messy place. When they say, oh, you just like her or whatever, I'm going to tell you like this. When you go to a building and they have a debate, some people have a debate that's pro and con. They still de debating, but some people it's positive and some people it's negative. When you see somebody content... And, and, uh, and somebody is picking on somebody, like picking on their living. Let me just, let me just say it. I'm just going to say this one thing. And let's just, for those people who say you just like her, people are going to have a, a, a debate. People are going to say something they're going to agree to uh, agree not to agree or whatever. Okay. So I'm just going to say this situation. What's going on with trees, Ross, me, uh, Ross, and all the other per positive people. When it comes to trees, we're not picking on the trees and how she's living. This person is. We are not the same. We're not picking on that person. This person is picking on the trees. We're saying, listen, you're saying something to damage. We're getting her attention. You're saying something to damage this person's spirit. You're saying something um, that's just mean and cruel. That's what that is. I don't know if somebody understand what I'm saying. If you don't, guess what? I'm not. It, it's, this, could, this is going to be a time where we're going to say it's okay to disagree. Because whatever somebody put in my comment that we're the same, hey, this definitely for me it's okay to get disagree because I'm not the same. I don't care if they say, well, you gossiping, you talking about it, you got talking on the internet too. Uh, yep, I am. But in, I'm not negative. If you say I am, it's okay to disagree. So with that being said, I'm off of that. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to believe what I want to believe. And that's that. But at the end of the day, you know how um, it was when Floyd, when the police killed Floyd, and, and my thing is, if people didn't stand up to those police, if that was something just happened and we all seen on TV that happened, and imagine if nobody said nothing towards the police doing wrong, those police would have been out of jail today. 
and that would have been another dead brother just dead. Sometimes you have to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Some people say, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. But it is what it is. My phone ringing, y'all. I'm just trying to wait till it stops ringing. So, my thing is, you got to stand for something. You have to stand for something. And some people put in the comment, well, she wouldn't do this for you. She probably wouldn't bike you out there. I don't care. Listen, y'all got to realize, I don't know Latrice personally. Never met her. Never. Like if somebody who followed me, they would see in my earlier um, videos that I say, if that was somebody else who was getting bullied and it was not Latrice, I would have did the same thing. It's just that it happened to be Latrice because I followed Latrice. But if it wasn't Latrice, it would have been somebody named Renee, Susan, a white person, if I seen somebody getting a tight like that. So whether it was Latrice or not, it could have been anybody. I don't know her. I don't know Latrice. So it don't matter that she wouldn't say the same thing for me because at the end of the day, I don't know Latrice like that. I just don't like what's being done to this person. When I'm watching this person, I see that she's funny. She's funny to me. Period. In the day, they say, why do you like Latrice? She's funny. I like to laugh. I like Eddie Murphy. I like, um, uh, what's his name? Who got his own show? Mmm, so on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, anyway, I like comedians. I love comedians. I love them. And I like to laugh. And so when I see Latrice, she do stuff that is hilarious to me. It's very funny. So that's why I watch her, because she's funny. At the end of the day, that's that. But, um, y'all, when y'all see me in this in the morning time, just know I can't show. Just know I got my work clothes on under here. It's just that I'm not allowed to show my logo and my name tag on social media. So, when y'all say, she always wearing this little thing, I have to because I have to cover up um, my uniform. But, everybody, how y'all day going? I cannot wait. And this is going to be soon. Y'all see how my number's going up. So, you know it's going to be soon where I am able to go live with y'all. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait because I'm telling you, and for all those who comments that I did not get a chance to um, address, I might get a chance today because I don't have to do my night job. Yesterday, y'all got to uh, kind of know, and I, those who follow me know that I have two jobs. My day job, I'm a housekeeper supervisor. I got to be to work from 8 to 4.30. And then when I have to do my night job, I have to be to work 6 to 9 because I clean the bank at night. So when I come home, I'm tired. I just want to clean up uh, myself and get some rest. So I cannot on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays is when I do my night job. So I cannot answer all the questions. I know y'all probably seen that I answer some um comments and some comments I just didn't get a chance to. So, but like I said, when we go live and y'all probably, let me just say, see this, y'all probably see my nails like this is because when me and my sister and my mom went to some garage sales, we went to this place that did arts and crafts and they put dry nail polish on my nails and they said it stayed on for two weeks. And I want to see if that's the case because if that's the case, I'm going to order some because I don't get my nails done at a salon. But if this work and stay on my nails without peeling for two weeks, I'm going to definitely get some dry nail polish. It's like come on the script and you put it on the end and pull it like this and then slide it off and that's how it is. And so that's why you probably, she only, she did an um, example on me, you know, she experimented on my nails. So that's why you probably see my other nails not polished and these two on. But anyway, that just wasn't people look people trust me people look people heard my alarm beeping up here and it was like that turpentine sounds because your um your alarm you heard that because your battery need to get changed so trust me people listen and look on these little videos so that's why i had a comment of, about my nails 
And so um, when we go live, y'all, I'm telling you, it's going to be nice. I'm not going to say what we're going to do. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I don't want to say it in advance, you know, what I'm going to be doing on live, but we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. That's why I'm hoping sooner than later. I know I got a feeling. My spirit tell me that before December, um, I, I believe that I should have the 35 that I need. So therefore, you all who's looking and viewing and have not subscribed, I'm asking you guys to please subscribe to my channel, Brown Tan Johnson aka Kathy and um we want to have a good time that's point blank period it's just a lot I can't do on here because I won't get no feedback on here when I'm just talking to a screen but I can get feedback once I see y'all comment right then you know so you know we want to have a good time you know and I just want everybody to know who probably don't who just probably subscribed to my channel who probably did not look at my um, other videos I am looking for a church home. I grew up in a place of worship. And when I turned from age two years old to I think I was about 18. And I think when I was 19, um, I probably, I think, I not think I left, you know, and I wanted to find God for myself. Because a lot of people know that the churches and everything that they grew up in, they was in that church because that's where their family went. And, but when you older, you want to go and explore other things, you know what I'm saying? So I got baptized at, um church without walls it was paula white and when randy white church then it was a big church that was in tampa i got baptized there i got saved in another church i don't know if it was greg poe church he was in tampa he passed away now and so i think i got born again there let me see no i got born again in another church you know how they tell you to come up so i'm not sure of that church where i got born again at because I did visit a lot of churches. I'm telling you, I'm trying to find a church that, that's right for me, you know. And so I just visited a lot of churches. And I went to uh, Pastor Greg Poe and his wife's church. And I learned a lot from him. I like that church. And, um, and like I said, my sister, older sister, she introduced me to Church Without Walls in Tampa with uh, Paula White and Randy White. They divorced now. She moved on. She's married again i'm not sure if randy uh, moved on but that's why i got baptized um i got my pictures in my room so yeah yeah i just need to find a church home and um the church that i'm looking for it can be a big church like um church with our walls and it can be a small church with with only like 50 50 to 100 people in there it don't matter long as when i go in there i need to go to a church that definitely do praise and worship I love, in the beginning, praise and worship. I love that, how they started off. I love a choir, a good choir. The people do not have to do praise dance. If they don't, if not, I like to see it. But if they don't do it, that's fine. But I definitely want to go to a church that have a choir. I mean, the people who sing, and it, because that does something to my spirit. It ch truly connect with my spirit. And so I like a pastor or... Um, Sometimes they have what's the, uh, the mother of the church. I like how them older women just pray and that touches my spirit. So like I say, if I can find a church, they got a pastor that preach from the Bible. I ask you to open your Bible for you can see the word for yourself. And um, a nice choir, praise and worship, a good message. Sometimes they sing after afterwards, but if they don't and they just pray after the service, that's fine too. But it, when I go in that church, I have to connect. If I go in that uh, a church and I don't feel the connection of the Lord, if I don't feel, feel the vibe and the spirit of the Lord, I'm going to stay probably to that church. I'm not going to be disrespectful and leave, but I'm just going to go and visit another church. And I have done that several times. So that's why I probably do Sunday I can, so a lot of times I don't go to church. I just look at CTN, Christian Net, um, Christian TV Network, because I like um, Joyce Myers. I like um, um, uh, Joseph Prince. Um, I like uh, what's his name, Stanley. 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 Oh my God. 
He's an older man. Stanley, I can't believe I can't think his name. He's an older man, and he just sit down, and sometimes he'll stand up. But I like Stanley. Um, uh, I like... I can't think his name. Oh my God! Ooh. Well, I'm gonna get. In, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go down the list, you guys. Since I got all these people on the tip of my tongue that I can't name, so I'm gonna write all these people who I listen to on CTN. And sometimes I don't go to church. I would sit from seven o'clock to about one o'clock, and I just turn on the TV, have the volume on while I'm cooking, while I'm cleaning, and just listen to the message that they deliver. I just listen to the stuff that they deliver, and it does something to my spirit. So, you know, I don't go to church, but, you know, church is in my heart. It is. Church is in my heart. My spirit is good. My heart is good. You know, that's just who I am. And this just something, just a video, just a more calmer video than was yesterday, everybody. It's just more of a calmer video than yesterday. But like I said, once y'all get to know me and, um... Y'all to see who I am. Um, I'm not perfect. And um, I uh, like to have fun, you know, and that no way, shape, or form uh, makes me feel some type of way about knowing the Lord. It don't, you know, it does to some other people because I don't know how they was raised. You know, I don't know what church they belong to, whether it was allowed to not drink at all, to not wear earrings, to not wear pants. Um, you know, I don't know, but you know, I'm not that person. You know, my heart, if, if my spirit and uh, my conscience bothered me by something I did, I said, I will immediately stop. You know, because if you go against what the Lord, the Spirit telling you, you're going to feel some type of way. So, everybody, I have to get ready. To, what time it is? You know, I don't have to leave right now. I don't have to leave right now because I got my clothes on under here. So, all I got to do is get my bag, keys, and head out. And it's only 7.30. And it'll take me, like, only eight minutes to get on the interstate. Well, to get to work. So, I just pray that you guys are having a good day. I just pray and hope y'all family is doing okay, whether it's your children, your husband, your sister, your mother, your cousin, your uncles, your aunt. I just pray that they're doing well. And for those who not doing well, my heart goes out to your family. And I, I, and I definitely, when I get in my car, I would definitely pray for them. I just do a little quick prayer now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover all those who's ill, who's not doing well in the name of Jesus, who is just going through anything, whether it's COVID, a heart condition, a stomach condition, a head condition, any kind of condition that's showing them some type of ill feeling. Lord, I just pray that you cover them and give them a speedy recovery in the name of Jesus. So you guys, I truly just hope you all pray just as well and like I said you don't have to know a person's name you can speak on that thing you can speak on that mountain you can speak on that thing you know God gave us that free will God gave us that power you know when he um, let the um, left the Holy Spirit here with us he gave us that um, power that we can pray over anything that moves Anything that moves, we can pray over it. You know, we don't, we shouldn't have no fear. You know, we need faith instead of fear. You know, and uh, it's a lot of people who's afraid. Don't be afraid of whatever that thing it is. I had to learn that. I'm still learning that. It's some things that I, I'm fearful of. You know, but you know, I, I gotta say that thing that I'm fearing, it's not gonna hurt me. It's that thought of fear. It's that thought of fear. I'm not going to walk into a, 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 a gate with a put pit bull. A rock rod, I ain't no fool. We ain't, we ain't talking about that. That's stupidity. That's stupidity. You know, so you got to have discernment, you know. And a lot of people probably don't know what that is. You got it. You probably don't know what it is. And discernment is that when you get around a certain person or a certain thing, you know that something is not right. When you walk into a building, or you walk in an alley, or you walk um, in the presence of something, and something telling you to turn around, turn around. You know, a lot of people got killed for walking in a trail. A lot of people got killed walking in trail. 
Some people came out the trail doing the exercise, and some people got killed in the trail because they that spirit said this is not the right time to go walking in this trail by yourself. Okay. Some people get in the car and say go the other way. Believe it or not, y'all, I'm telling you, if you listen, you got if you listen to that thing and you saying something saying just go to work a little later and then when you do go to work a little later five minutes if you would have left you're gonna see an accident at the light you're gonna see an accident on the road trust me that happened to me several times when i was looking for my keys and i'm like dang man and i had to take an extra five minutes to find my keys there's on my room on the dresser when i thought it was hanging up where it's supposed to be you know and then bam an accident just happened in front of it just happened things like that happen people and so that's why i say you have to obey is people call that thing you feeling that's your intuition that's the Holy Spirit talking to you. You know, some people say it's that good angel and that devil sitting on your shoulder. Listen to the ones that's telling you right. Listen to something that's telling you right because the, the devil will tell you wrong now. You're going to hear something wrong. I don't care if it's a fine man you see or a fine woman you see. If something say, I want to have sex with that person and something saying, don't do it. You know, listen to the one that say, don't do it because you never know what that person might have. You never know what that person might have. You know what I'm saying? So listen to your Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that's telling you the right thing to do first. Anything that uh, the Holy Spirit, when you know it's the Holy Spirit, it's what's telling you right. And when something telling you right, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. When something tells you right, right after something tells you right, guess what? Something going to tell you to do wrong. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you. So, you know, just know it's going to happen more when you get born again. When you get born again, you're going to see a lot of the into, um, Holy Spirit coming to you a lot. And so know what you're getting into. You know, being born again is not easy. It's not an easy process at all because the devil come for you more. Being baptized, the devil come for you more. You know, a lot of people think, oh, she baptized, she um, born again, that she can't do this, she can't say this. Listen, when God convicted my heart and he does it, at times he do, that's when I said, you know what, I can't go against the Holy Spirit. I got to shape up. You know, I got to do better. I got to do right. You know, that's why I said people on my channel, I like when y'all comment and somebody on my channel was like, let all this stuff go that's going on with Latrice and your girl. And I understand what they saying, but they got to realize it's not about Latrice and your girl because if it wasn't Latrice and your girl and somebody else did it, I'm that type of person who going to mention it. I'm not going to dog your girl. It's no way, shape, or form I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to, hey, like I said in the last time, she she's a beautiful woman. You know, she keep herself um, up. I see class in her. You know, I see her family, a beauty, she got a beautiful family, beautiful children, beautiful home, you know, and it's like, where did all this come from? You're a beautiful woman. What, what, you beautiful. I don't want nobody. I hate to see somebody with beautiful and have life going for them and they can't see what they're doing to others. You know, so like I said, I'm not going to get into it again right at this moment because my heart is in a good place then and it's in a good place now. You know, so I'm not going to get into that, what she doing, you know. I, you know, I'm just going to continue to pray that God allow her to see um, what she's doing, you know, because she's a beautiful person. I don't care what nobody say. They can say what they want to say. She got, she got, be she's beautiful. Just the same like with Trees. Trees is beautiful. I see people as being beautiful. I see people just not being the same. But I see beautiful people. When I, when I look at somebody, it's something about that person that's beautiful. And it's, it's not just the appearance. Sometimes it's the appearance because everybody and their mama know Holly Berry is a beautiful woman. Everybody know that. Everybody, I can't think of the black lady who played on, um, uh, what's that black, um, that black, uh, that movie, uh, The Panthers. 
Black Panther is a beautiful, dark, black girl in that movie. Absolutely flawless skin. She has beautiful eyes. She got that thick hair. Whether you light skin, black, white, whatever, it's beauty in everyone. It's beautiful beauty in you. It's beauty in anybody who's on here. If somebody tells you different, it's beauty in you. Don't let nobody's opinion of you tell you anything different. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. I don't care if you light skin. I don't care if you dark skin. I don't care if you got that skin that have two-tone colors that your skin is peeling. I don't care if you're a bino. I don't care. You are beautiful. As the Bible said, you are wonderfully made. Nobody is alike. Nobody is alike. Nobody will ever be alike. Just know who you are and whose you are. I'm going to repeat that again. Know who you are and know whose you are. Don't ever, I don't care if your husband or is you the man and your wife get in an argument they tell you anything different. I don't care who tell you different. You are beautiful. Know that. Know that. You are beautiful. So with that being said, it's Tuesday. I don't have to do my night job, so I may come back on tonight, and uh, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do, you know, but just um, know I'm going to do something positive. It's going to be something positive that I want to do tonight, so with that being said, everybody, if you at work, have a wonderful day at work. If you are a stay-at-home mom, have a wonderful time with your children. If you don't work, have a great time with yourself. If you retire, enjoy your day and be blessed that you was able to work and retire. If you just want to stay home and just chill and relax your body, do that. If you want to go shopping, have fun shopping. Buy the best thing that you can. Be blessed, everybody. With that being said, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're just viewing and watching, I would truly appreciate that. Comment, share, and like. With that being said, everybody have a blessed Tuesday. Know that you are beautiful, and God said you are wonderfully made in his eyes and our eyes. We love you, and everybody, thanks for supporting my channel. God bless.